Okay, wow. It's uh, now February 4th of 2022, and I, I can't even remember the last time I posted a video, but I actually, I've recorded another session where I worked on my portfolio portion of my site, or rather the work portion, and I was really unhappy with it because it was really just me struggling to come up with a better approach and it wasn't successful. So I've actually gone back and I, I tinkered a little bit and I'm going to show you that. But the goal of this video, I hope, is to kind of wrap things up. And there's, there, will, there will most definitely be, still be some tweaking that I'll have to do with the copy and uh, probably some responsive stuff. And I, I might record that. I don't know. It might be terribly boring, but um, I don't, we'll see. But anyway, so I've, I've come back to my site, and the, the, the big part is, um, so th this is me. You may not have seen the previous videos. I've decided to record my redesign. So this is still local on my computer running Laragon, and um, I'm just in bad need of a redesign of my site. This is my current site. Uh, the contact page is something I need to move over. So yeah, I was happy with this at one point, um, but it, but it's it's time to move on. And uh, so what, watch the other videos, uh, please, if, if you haven't already, and just see what you think. It's got some design process, some developing process, and part of the goal was to do as little coding as possible in my child theme. So I'll go ahead and show you what I've done so far on the work portion, which I'm pretty happy with. I, I decided to not be quite so lazy with showing my work and so inspired by what I have I saw on Parvel, let's see it's parvelinc.com and uh, some guys out of Texas I, I love. Um, Dave Rupert is one half of the, uh, oh my gosh, the, the wet, Ah, oh, what is it called? <laughs> CSS Tricks is the other half. Um, Chris. Oh man, I don't know if it's age or I haven't had enough coffee this morning. <laughs> so, not the Chris Coyer and Dave Rupert. Good grief! Shop Talk Show. Yes, thank you shop talk show which is a great podcast if you guys haven't listened to it um i like the way they they show their work in these big images like this with these colored backgrounds and so yeah i i, I robbed that a little bit <laughs> but you know kind of did a slightly different approach i want to show some different screens and you know without it being device specific as far as like showing it in an actual iphone or showing it in an actual browser or on a computer screen it's just it's just the layout in different sizes um and i like the way the the color kind of gives it this impact as you're scrolling down the screen um, there's a little piece of me that's like, well, you know, this background color really influences the design too. Cause when you go to look at the site all by itself, it's not quite as, maybe not quite as rich, but you know, I don't know. I'm, I've decided that I like the impact that it has now as a portfolio on my website. So I'm happy with this now. I just need to add more to it. So I'm part of what I'm going to do off of recording off screen off video is choose more portfolio pieces and uh, make some more of these graphics I've set them up here in a finished photo so that I can come in individually to each project and um, sorry yeah and be happy with you know the way it's arranged before I actually get it on my website and one thing I, need, I do need to do that um, that isn't working quite yet is the mobile so that that's just entirely too small and I'm not sure what to do about it so whether I 
have a different graphic that I show that's maybe just two screens side by side, or maybe it's, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a more stylized thumbnail, a segment of a larger screen view. And you can simply go visit the site. Um, because, as, you know, as much as I want to make it work on mobile, just a, a mobile device, a screen that size isn't really something you can use to explore the design of a website. Uh, maybe I'm being too closed-minded about that. I, I don't know, but I'll, uh, I've got to think on that a little bit more uh, and certainly tweak the mobile styling on my site. But anyway, so I'm happy with that. So now I'm just going to kind of chug along. I still need a footer. I still need a contact page, of which I have none. Um, oh, and one other thing I did was I added white as one of my color my color choices for switching out my page backgrounds. So now as you go through the site, you have the blue, white for the portfolio, which I think is appropriate. I want that to be really neutral. I have the red for services, the kind of green color for the about. And now I'm going to use this kind of cream color for the contact page. And just to catch you up, you can watch the previous videos. These colors are based on <laughs> the old wallpaper in my office. Like I, I took my inspirations from some weird places, but it, it kind of worked. And, you know, to me, it makes sense to the, uh, to the casual viewer. It may seem a little arbitrary. That's okay. So for now, I was just going to fill in um the contact information um so let's see one of the things that i was thinking about doing i have global style set up for let's see page heading container you know this is all really rough because it's just me using it i haven't really thought about you know how i do would do this for a client and i you know, probably should. It's just good practice getting that habit. But I thought about making a uh, a global. Oh, and WordPress is updated too. I so dig. That happened again. Oh, this is something I discovered. So I probably named this. So I have my container. The global styling is just named GB container page heading. And I probably called this one page heading two, thinking that the prefix is different so I can call it the same thing so that I know that it's in the same, you know, it, it it's, belongs to this container. But you can't do that. Generate press, I'm pretty sure it requires unique global style names regardless of if whether or not the prefix is different. Um, and I suppose that makes sense. So... Quickly, I'm going to rename that to page heading, grid wrapper. I'll just call it page heading grid. Yeah. And this is page heading inside left, page heading inside right. I wanted those all to be styles. I'm going to update that. And I think I want to make a a, 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 and I don't do this this often to be honest and I should what is it called template a local template yeah so let's do that I know it's a small site but what the heck um, page heading template and we'll Add a container. I'll go ahead and use my page heading. And see see how grid is not showing up because you can't apply that style to this. That's another thing that led me to believe that um that those style names could be the same because the prefix was different. And maybe I ought to bring that up in the at the generate press GitHub um account. Bring it up as an issue, and, and someone may have already. I, I don't know. Why in the world did it do that? Why did it give me five columns?
What in the world? I'm not crazy, right? Did that just happen? Okay, page heading. Okay, I must, I must have quickly clicked something. I don't know. Okay, so for that grid, there's my page heading grid. Container. Go ahead and get inside left. Page heading inside right. I'm going to go ahead and add page heading and that is an h1 and we'll add some text over here and honestly <laughs> I can't yeah I'm gonna make it uh, this let's see page subheading which is an h2 um Sure. And now I can publish this, right? Yeah, I really need to make use of this more often. And I know there's been some discussion over, um, well, let's go over here and, and use this now. And I'll, I'll talk as I try to do this. Okay, I'm going to my contact page and I already have. No, I don't. So, what? See, I, I, this is so bad. I can't even remember. So, I think I was just doing it per page. Okay, now. template library okay see I don't use this at all and I so should <laughs> anyway so there, there was some talk on uh, the generate press Facebook group about being able to do things like this but lock certain areas like make it so that like the uh, the, the the container and the column styling like you can't edit it and I want to do a video on that because I know there was some exploration as to how you do that. And I think you can um, through code, um, but maybe that's coming to the to the editor. So maybe certain roles, like administrator roles, can lock down portions of these local templates, and then when an editor role logs in, they can see it. Um, and they can add it, and they'll they can edit you know blocks within the columns, but they can't. Um, they can't make changes to the overall styling of the like the the wrapper container and everything. Anyway, that that that's badly needed. Okay, so contact. What do I have? Get in touch. Let's talk. Sure. And again, I'm I'm not going to really worry about writing content just yet. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. This is going to look really weird, but okay, another container. And I think page content. And we'll just do a single column because I'm not sure how I want to treat this. Just put a paragraph in for now. That's really boring. Maybe I can put in a Google map. Maybe a form. I don't know. Yeah, really boring. Um hmm. I don't know. Maybe I can push that over here. 
Let's make it 50 and I can say right of oh, the gutter. Okay, what do I have? Yeah, I think that's right. That horizontal gap, I have that set in my. Uh, Ah, let's get this out. Yeah. Okay, so it's not going to show it. I wish it would because it's a global style. Yeah, I wish. Not that Tom and them are watching this. Uh, Tom Boosborn, the creator, the developer. I know he has a team now. But it'd be cool, just like when you're switching to, um, like if I'm looking at this grid and I see 40 right here, if I switch to tablet, I get kind of a, it's actually a placeholder, I suppose. What in the world just happened? Weird. I, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that I could get that for the global styles. That would, content permissions? Oh gosh, okay. Huh. That's from the members plugin. Um. I, which I use to control roles for editors and things like that to help control what they see. Yeah, I wish you'd get a little ghosted like for the global styles so you can see what styles are being applied by the global styles and then you can override them in places uh, when you want to. But here you see it's just blank. And that's, that's nitpicking. Um, Yeah, that's kind of gridish, grid like, grid, good grid stuff. So let's add a footer because I really need to finish out that thought below. And here's the thing I don't know what I want in my footer. You know, a lot of people put their contact information, but my site's so small. I, I kind of like having just the contact page, it's pretty obvious. Hmm. I do have some social media, although I don't post to it a lot. I don't even have my social media on this site. I'm still wondering if I'm going to miss my little logo. And I have this bit here about being a type nerd. I do love type. I love fonts, typography. I'm not going to be building with nunjucks. And I guess I could put a little plug for uh, generate press and generate blocks, and maybe even my child theme, my GitHub. I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's see. Let's just go play with it some. I'll leave that as it is, and uh, let's switch over to the home page. I wonder if I'm going to have to. Probably will. Have to think through some styling. Let's see. I need to open up Visual Code. Yeah, because I had to do a lot of this. That, that, and that, and that. Um, to help those. So I have a, I guess I need to do this. Um, yeah, if you haven't seen one of the episodes, I can't remember which in this. This is a playlist, part of a playlist. This video is, again, of me working on my new site. I have a uh, a page, a color scheme switcher. So I can switch on the fly my different pages of a preset number of color schemes. And I you know, I decided to get ambitious and uh, I didn't have to make it apply to the admin, but I wanted to. But anyway, part of what I had to do was based on this color scheme is <laughs> change the styling because it's certainly on a dark color scheme like that navy i don't want black type but if i switch it to a white or that cream color scheme for the background i do need a darker color for the the fonts so yeah okay update that again because it's gonna fuss at me ah it's not done yet okay now let's go make a footer let's 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 do this so I'm going to go to elements 
and we're going to create a block. Yep. And I usually want to do this, if I know it's going to be something like a footer or header that I apply to everything, I go ahead and call it global footer. And we'll go ahead and apply it to the entire site. And now you can just say, yeah, site footer. I can use this little nifty current year tag, which is awesome. Okay. So container. And I think, no, we're not going to do that. We're, no, 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 no. Yep. We, yeah, sorry. So grid. I think. Yeah, I'm going to add the little copyright bit. Uh, I, I, I probably want to add my social media. What little there is. I don't know if I want to add the icons or, and then maybe a little nerdy bit, um, something like this. Yeah. Okay. So let's go with three columns and I'm going to select the, whoop. Ah, uh, okay. Let's pull this out because I'm with the grid. I think I'm going to go ahead and apply a 40 pixel cap. And see the copyright out here. And I really like using the headline uh, bit because, well, I mean, you can style it however you like. So, how does the copyright bit go? So. <laughs> How do I see that you uh I can't do um you know the WordPress editor used to have that nifty little like I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> We're gonna copy what I'm struggling to find is that copyright symbol. Like I I don't remember what that is. Uh the, like key commands I do and um, HTML entity land. Wait, what am I doing? Current, uh, yeah, current year. Okay, so now I can. Okay, and maybe I will do something like that. I mean, it's. It's my site. I can do whatever I want to, right? <laughs> um, I don't know what I will be received. Or I mean, I have it on my site right now. So, Oops. websites in Brandon, Mississippi. I think I did that for some SEO, possibly. Um, I I know a little about SEO. I mean, I've come a long way with my site since certainly since. 2005 when I had my first site for my business. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll leave it like that for now. And I might, okay, I might switch these. I'm thinking way ahead of myself. Okay, social, is there a... Social links with a shared background color? Click plus to add. Oh, like that. Okay. Yeah, I'm on Facebook still. And even though I don't really post to Twitter anymore. Well, yeah, I do. I guess I do. A little. Very, very little. Um... Should I have some? Yeah, I'm going to do it like that. And icon color. 
Okay, yes, I will have to. What is that for? Oh, that's a color picker. Is that new in the latest update? That's a big. What is it? Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Okay, that is nice. Um, I do want to open the links in the new tab orientation. So you can go vertical or I like that. Okay. I'm not gonna add the links just yet. I can't remember what they are and I don't want to go hunt them down yet. I'll do that later. Um okay, so let's just save it. Wait, wait, no. I do need I don't think I put any spacing. I do need some padding. Let's start with Forte because I think that is what I have on the body or the, the content part. And I like to have a good bit of breathing room. Or right, let's see how that looks. Ooh. So it's not going to show the social media icons until I add links. Fine. Well, I don't want to go. Let's see. I think that's what it is. I think. I think that's what that is and I think that's what that is come on all right boom feels kind of big um doesn't feel very elegant Hey, look at there. But it didn't work for that. Okay, I can fix that. And what does it do on the work page? It should do about the same thing. Yeah, okay. Okay. We can fix that. So first of all, it needs to be smaller. Or more separated. Or both. Yikes. I definitely need to fix that. And that I'm probably going to use um, either vertical height or vertical width for font sizing for that, or the clamp CSS, the new clamp. I say new, it's fairly new. Uh, property, I believe. You can give it a minimum and a maximum, and it can you know grow in between. It's very very cool. Um, I'm going to switch to this for now though. And let's see. Uh, well, let's see. Because I like consistency, what size did I make my menu items? They're 16. Okay. And I think I talked about this in some of the other videos. I'm not going to get in a big huff over whether I use rims or M's or pixels or whatever um i know there are arguments to be had over that and i'm just not going to deal with it right now um i should i do care but um i haven't run into any roadblocks i know it has something to do with uh easily resizing fonts in the browser uh maybe with some accessibility but yeah, it. I've seen good arguments for using pixels too, that they too can be resized in the browser and it's not, you know, a super big deal. That spacing seems off. I don't know. Might have to look at the. Uh, Is 
the settings on that page. Services, okay. Because I might not have a 40 column, 40 pixel gap in those columns there, I'm not sure. So it's out of whack. I think I wanna do this. Wrong way. And move ah. Here's the thing about this. I bet when I push those over that side, I bet that's not I can't change that for mobile. Tabs. Yeah, I don't know. I want this to wrap differently too. I think Do I need a rule there, or can I leave that? Maybe I just need more space. You know what, I bet if I tested this under a, a color contrast tool, it would tell me there's not enough contrast. Might have to revisit that. But thanks to the CSS custom properties and generate press and how it handles colors, that should be an easy fix. You can just change the color in the customizer and boom, all done. So I'm going to add a little padding. I don't know whether to do it to the headline element or I think we're gonna do it to the container. Because I want to shorten that column, I want to make it wrap a little sooner than it is doing right now. Um, and let's see how that looks. Maybe a little bit more. Try that. And I can change it as the, you know, responsively as the screen gets smaller. Let's see, well, that's not, yeah, maybe something like that. Um, I'm also second guessing now. I added some letter spacing to the body type because I wanted it to be spaced out just a little. I like the it to be a little bit looser and I'm I'm wondering if that was a good decision. I don't know, it's one of those things I liked it at one point. That feels a little too tight. Oh, and I can do that. That was done in the customizer. I'd forgotten that. <laughs> <laughs> All these new typography settings that were built into Generate Press. Um, social media icons are too big. Small? That seems really small. Well, actually, no, I kind of like that. It is really small. I wish there was a title. How accessible are these? I mean, it's WordPress. I, I thought they always thought of that kind of stuff. Area label, Facebook. Okay, so it is. Okay, yeah, see, I should have known. 
Um, 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 um. I kind of like that, I think. I don't know if I want to make it, like for some reason these look, maybe because they're bolder, they actually look a little bit smaller. Let me check something. Let's jump over to the customizer. I want to make sure that I read that font size for the menu correctly. All right, go typography, main number. Yeah, 16 pixels. Where's that body? Is that a little better? Man. Two five. I feel like that's really getting nitpicky. But isn't that really what typography is? It's just being really anal and nitpicky about stuff. Okay, I'm gonna live with that for a little while. Okay, I think I want the footer to be just a teeny bit smaller, I think. And you know, I do this and then I go back to like, like let's say, Paraville. I love their site. Great, big type is super simple. I love the font choices too. And then I see what they're doing and like everything is nice and big and easy to read and it's, it looks super great on mobile. So maybe I don't need it to be any smaller. Maybe, maybe that is okay. What's the contact page look like? That does feel a bit floaty, like stuff just kind of hanging out there. I need to fix those too. Let's see. If I can take care of that real quick. So these are done. Current color. Okay, color and fill. Wow, that's a lot of stuff there. Okay. Let's do these on a separate line. Okay. So they had all those in the color. Body has color scheme base three or light tan. Wow. So that's, I do miss, and you know, I wish there was an equivalent in plain old CSS. where you could you know the way you could nest things in so I could have like a like a body of this class and then open the brackets and then have all my inner elements that I wanted to style as long as those elements existed within this element I could style them that way instead of having to repeat the styles over and over um that gets really tedious. I 
Nice color scheme. Light tan. Oh, stop it. Oh my goodness. Go away. <laughs> oh. What did I just do? Okay. Oh. Okay, has color game light tan. Okay, so now when I think we need to provide the color in fill color I believe that's right. Yay. I guess maybe some of those just on that anchor, I guess in, in, if there's text included with the SVG, I'm not sure. Or maybe it's for the, uh, no, some of them have the, the yeah, never mind. They have the, the background and yes, okay. So this is really specific to the way I have it styled. It's not gonna work if I change the uh the styling of the icons the social link icons block in wordpress but that's that's okay at least for this scenario it is okay so <clears throat> do i like this not necessarily for this contact page and it may be How do they do their contact page? <laughs> They're all from Texas, by the way. Um, huh. They just have a simple contact form. <laughs> I like this part, though. <laughs> 50,000 or less. Yeah, that's where most of my clients <laughs> fall. <laughs> I don't get many of these others, if any. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's see how how's it looking on the others about There's something that wants me to make it like one pixel smaller. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, contact page is not really doing it for me though. That's awfully just, it's floaty. It's like a blob here, move down a blob there. There's, it's kind of floating. You can't, it's not anchored to anything even in my grid. So the first thing I'm going to do I switch back to that but I'm thinking I want it closer to this and kind of hanging out up there with that yeah let's try that and so This is really awesome. That is so much easier than the way it used to be. Let's just get rid of that. Better. better yeah um so what do we got here we know work that's gonna 
be way down the page. But that works, I think. It does kind of break the three column grid. Maybe. Maybe I don't need the, the icons pushed over to the right. It kind of bugs me about the menu as well. Back to my elements. Like, is this kind of stuff useful to anybody? Like, I'm, this video kind of, you know, watching over someone's shoulder while they're thinking out loud. Uh, you know, how do you guys do this? Do uh, I, I do love, you know, I think back to the days of being strictly a print designer and just being in, oh gosh, either <laughs> PageMaker, uh, Quark Express, uh, or, you know, later InDesign, and just fiddling around, just, you know, moving stuff, uh, tweaking stuff, making this bigger, making this smaller. You know, it felt like, you know, it did <laughs> I'm really getting paid for this? Like this is this is what I do. Did that do oh that spreads them out. Um you know, not I don't know. I I I do like that generate blocks now and I've tried Elementor, I've used Divi, and this is definitely the way I prefer to work because it's more akin to to, to CSS. I mean, I remember, I remember doing it in Dreamweaver. Um, I remember doing it in Adobe Go Live. Um, it was actually something else before then, but um, yeah, just all this fiddling around. And now with Generate Blocks, I can still do my fiddling like this. <laughs> you know, is this what you guys do, or do you, do you kind of get it all? hashed out in some layout program first and then kind of put it together because I, I do everything directly and generate blocks now I just jump in and get right at it um, sometimes I'll do an overall layout scheme in Affinity Designer to you know just get the client on board with the fonts and colors and things before I go building but now I'm having other thoughts let's see We like that. What does that look like on the home page? I know this is just my screen, but I like the way it all kind of stretched away over there. But I, I don't know. There's uh, hmm. Now I'm wondering Do I need anything else? Hmm. So let's try The 50. I still have that padding on this left column to kind of. Keep, whoa, what? Did it not update? I don't know. Sometimes I feel like, or I go back and watch these videos and, like, man, I'm just rambling and being incoherent and not finishing thoughts. <laughs> I wonder if it's helpful to anybody. Um, hmm. Now, hmm. Oh, good grief. I don't know. 
that's not really Do I have an extra space or something? No. That's 40. Let's open a new tab and take a look at our contact page. Did... <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, sorry. I thought I saw it when it loaded with that cream color. I was like, is it stuck on that? Like, I don't know. Because of that JavaScript thingy I built for changing my page colors. Okay, con. Yeah, let's. I was talking about that doesn't quite look like it lines up. And maybe that's a font thing. Ah, uh, forgot. Can I tell from the inspector? Yeah, 40. Okay. It just looks kind of like it doesn't line up. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe the three column was better. See, just being able to fidget like this and you know jump back and forth and easily change this stuff instead of you know not that CSS was super hard or even you know if you're working in Bootstrap you go change a couple of class names it's just I don't know this feels much more productive and it's still not generating like mountains of additional code or hmm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that should go beneath the copyright. And that would kind of balance them out visually. More type, less type with icons. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I know this is one of those things I need to just like sit with it for a while. Because now something's telling me that, that like this needs that three column. Just kind of build that foundation um, that it, that's at the bottom of every page. Because that that feels weird. So can you do? So I'm assuming that is a block element, the social icons. I can't do like a, you know, a little piece of text before it. So if I get rid of that there and get rid of the social there, How does that shape up? What the? That does not, that looks, that is not 16 point, or pixel. There it is, okay, that was weird. All right, guys, I might have to just sit with that a while. I don't know if, yeah, something's not jiving right, and I'm not sure what it is or what I need to do about it. Not super crazy about this. And I think it's something to do with the fact that this doesn't read like a block of text in a column. It's, so it's, it's throwing off the 
that rhythm. But somehow this isn't quite that. I think that is the better. The better layout of any of them that I've fiddled with. But I want like a little a, a blurb before it. Yeah, but it's a it's a block, so you it it's not an inline element. I can't just throw something in there. I wish there was a setting on it so I could you know do a little before text. And I I know I can. CSS my way out of it. Allow to wrap multiple lines. What if I don't? Hmm. Okay, let's headline. P. Uh. Photography sixteen find me on whatever it says also I wonder. Nope, that won't do the trick, huh? Okay, update. Let's see how that, what does that take us to? So I'd much rather it be, what, what does that do? It makes this in line, but this is still blocked, so it's not gonna, let me get us closer though. Now I can go with these display flex display inline flex. Yikes. Needs a little space before it. Is that better? Is that an improvement? Is that... <laughs> oh, see, this, this feels so... Like it shouldn't be. Or, yeah, let's make that. Oh, wait, is is uh is WordPress already wrapping it in a footer, or rather, is Generate Press? No, it just says site footer. Oh, let's make that a footer. Yeah, inline post meta items. What does that do? <laughs> There's so much I need to explore. Inline post meta, so that makes it some kind of flex, or those are. Oh, uh, that'll be something else to explore later on. I don't know. Um, so let let, let me see here. So this headline, wait this container if I do that ooh. well that's very interesting Ah, 
I have never played with that. Never, ever played with that. Okay. Is it going to render like that? Or is that just a shortcoming of the preview? Okay, I don't want it like that though. So is that not a good vertical alignment? Oh, yeah, okay. Remove vertical gap. Inline post. Okay, I think I see what that's for, but am I, is it a bad thing that I'm using it for this? Is it? It is removing the okay. <laughs> oh man, is it times like this? I want you know. Would it just be easier to um just to jump in there with some CSS? Let's see if we can see what it's doing. Okay, made it into flex. Ah, gap. I forgot about that. That yeah, that's awesome. So we need we need. Okay, let's see if my little utility classes can kind of come to our rescue here. So there's only margin bottom zero see what that does to help us out <laughs> yeah so in my child theme I have uh, this base CSS and it has some utility stuff that you know sometimes I use and sometimes I don't it's really well it's not too terribly big but you know it can add a good bit of weight because it's got a lot of stuff going on here and I really don't use a lot of it all the time so truth be told it might be more efficient just to add a little CSS um, I'm not gonna do that right now I probably will do that in the end um, see if we can add a little margin to the right there was that worth the effort I don't know <laughs> but it was a little bit of a learning experience wasn't it and I guess that's added I that's one of those things I haven't really paid attention to uh, sadly if you were building a block is that available across the board in like if I'm just editing a page I wonder so this inline post meta items it converts it to flex and I mean correct if I take that off and update I assume it's going to take the flex off of it. What well, that's that's it, right? GB inside container. It's not that one. It's the yeah, okay. So GB inside container. So now if I switch it, if I go back and oh nope, not under spacing, there is right there. Click update. It converts that inside container. To display flex.
And the default is center. It must be. Well, it's still doing center, even though I changed it up here. So maybe it just does that by default out of the box. And yeah, I don't know. Okay, I, th I think I'm going to live with that for a while. And, uh, you know what we, we kind of have a website um like i said i've got to fill in some more content um edit the content a little i've really got to work on the portfolio maybe fine tune a few more things i know that i need to buy a font license for gray cliff uh, a web font license uh, the font does come with the web font formats um, WAF and what is it? Open type or true type? I can't remember the ones you need. Um, but he does ask, you know, he, he includes those with a regular license, but he does ask that you buy a license for use on the web. I need to make a bunch more of these and I guess it's okay that they just scroll. I say a bunch more, some select ones that I'm really proud of. I mean, I'm proud of all my client work, but you know, some have more pizzazz than others. And I need to double check some spacing. In fact, let me look at that homepage real quick before I sign off, before I say goodbye. <laughs> um, and get on with my work day and do some, <laughs> some billable work. Okay. Ah. It was at 30, so maybe that'll take care of that spacing thing that's bugging me. And it does. Lovely. Lovely. The menu still bugs me just a tad, but, you know, I don't know what to do about that necessarily. If I should, uh, we can kind of fake it a little bit by decreasing the spacing between the items. Man, you just go and go and go. Okay. Layout, primary navigation. So, Change it to 19 and it fits more nicely with our three column layout. Yeah. But then, of course, as soon as I go to different, I guess it's still three column. Yeah. So there's still a few more things to do, but that's, that's okay. Overall, I'm much, much happier with it. Even the contact page, not too shabby. Maybe I can throw a map in there or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I'm much happier with this than I am my current website, especially the work page. That that needed to, I mean this is what I do so I needed to spend some more time on it and make the visuals more appealing um, I probably need to be a little bit more descriptive here which which I plan to be as much as I can without it being a full-blown case study which I just don't have time for that <laughs> um so yeah uh, I think I'm almost done we're in the home stretch and I, I you know I might do one more video after I've tweaked my content and after I've adjusted the mobile, 
or maybe I need to make a video where I'm actually going through and making sure the mobile works really well um, because we all know that that's where most of our traffic is coming from these days um, so yeah um, please comment tell me what you like what you don't like tell me what you'd like to see like I said I really like making these I wish I had more time to do it but I have a family that I have to feed and a house that I have to pay for <laughs> and I just have to get the bills taken care of but um, please like subscribe I'm gonna try to make more as often as I can and uh, I appreciate you watching uh, so thanks and see you guys next time